Hi everyone, so this is something which we did while I was off poorly the other week. I've had a couple of students ask me about it, so I figured if I just run through it quite quickly. So the first part, if I assume that you're happy that it's a lots of 3 minus 4x and b lots of 1 plus 2x, and if I use x is, what's that going to be, 3 quarters, then that would get rid of a, and find out b, which from the completed one was 9 over 2. And if I use x is minus a half, there, that would get rid of b, which finds a out as minus 5 over 2. Now I think it's always important to write it back out, so 19x minus 3. So part a, I'm just working on the idea that you can still do partial fractions. And it's part b, which people have been asking me about. So it's minus 5 over 2 lots of 1 plus 2x plus 9 over 2 lots of 3 minus 4x. So all that you should be happy with. Now part b, part 1, gets you to do what it wants, a binomial expansion up to x squared. So it wants a quadratic approximation. So the first thing I do is write it out. in index form. So I've got 1 plus 2x to the power minus 1. And 9 over 2, 3 minus 4x to the power minus 1. And then I look at the expansions. So 1 plus 2x to the minus 1 is 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 x squared over 2. So 1 plus 2x to the minus 1 is 1 minus 2x plus 4x squared. There. So that's that one done. Put a box around it, it's very important. The next bit was the uh, 3, oops, wrong colour, was 3 minus 4x. So 3 minus 4x to the power minus 1. It's got to be a 1 there, so I take out 3 to the power of minus 1. I've got 1 minus 4 thirds of x to the minus 1. Now actually, I'm just going to write that in a different colour so it stands out. So I'm going to have 1 minus 4 thirds of x to the minus 1. I'm going to look at this bit separately and then I'm going to put it back. So I've got 1 plus n x plus n, n minus 1, x squared over 2. So 1 minus 4 thirds of x to the minus 1 is 1 plus 4 thirds of x plus 16 over 9, x squared. There. Please be careful. You look at it and you think, ah oh, yes, I've only got three minuses, it's a minus. But well, that minus is squared, so you've actually got four minuses there. That's why it's good to put it in the calculator. So there's another one to be boxed. Well, no, not quite finished, actually. So now I want different colours the same. So 3 minus 4x to the minus 1 is a third of the expansion. So 1 plus 4 thirds x, 16 over 9 x squared. So 3 minus 4x to the minus 1 is a third, 4 over 9, x, 16 over 27, x squared, and box that. So then I've had two expansions done. I've done the partial fractions, I've done the expansions. Going back to the original question, that bit there, I can't copy that, it won't do it. So I've got 19x minus 3 over 1 plus 2x, 3 minus 4x. We said that that was minus 5 over 2. Oops. Minus 5 over 2, lots of 1 plus 2x to the minus 1. And 9 over 2, 
lots of 3 minus 4x to the minus 1. I just now need to replace the red bit with the expansion that went with it. So 1 minus 2x, and this is what I think there's a couple of steps missing in the working where it doesn't quite make sense what's happening next based on some of the questions that I'm getting. So let's have a look at that then. So that's going to be a third. Have I got this right? I should really just pause for a second and just check. Yeah, it's fine. The completed um, version that I've got kept the third out as a as a factor because it kind of cancels through with the nines, doesn't it? But let's see. So my I've got minus five over two. I've got plus. Ooh, I don't think that's wrong. No, we're all right with that actually. Then I'm going to have plus 10x. I'm going to have minus 10x squared. I do think I've made a mistake. Where have I made a mistake? That's a 4, isn't it? That's why. There. I've done well so far. So minus 20. No, no, it's not 4. You know. Oh. Yeah, isn't it? Because the two's cancelled, minus minus is a plus, I've just got 5x. And then I've got a minus 10x squared. Yeah. That'll do it. And then the threes cancel, so I've got 3 over 2. The nines cancel, the twos cancel. The nines cancel, the twos cancel, so I've got 8 over 3x squared. Yeah, that's it. Cool. There. So I've got a minus 1 for them two terms. I've got a plus 7x for them two terms. I've got minus 30 over 3x squared plus 8 over 3x squared. So I've got minus 22 over 3x squared. And that actually matches the answer, so that's quite good. So the questions I was getting were, what do you do with these expansions? And I think it's this line. That I think potentially this line was missing off the completed path. And I think that line is really, really important because it highlights the fact that you replace that binomial with its expansions, the two that are boxed. So that's that part done. I hope that made sense. I literally just replaced these two expansions, or these two with their expansions, and simplified it. In terms of the valids, so I had, what did I have? I had 1 plus 2x, didn't I, for one of them? It's there, isn't it? So 1 plus 2x to the power minus 1. So that's valid for the modulus of 2x is less than 1. So that would lead to x being OK between plus or minus a half. Um, my 3 minus 4x to the minus 1, I can't do a valid on unless it's a 1. So I've got to have the 1 minus 4 thirds of x to the minus 1. Because it's that bit that goes inside the brackets. The maths works that I can just ignore the minus and flip it. So I've got x is less than 3 quarters. Right, so I'm looking for the overlap, but that's the bit that's overall. So overall is the, is the overlap. So I've got one number which is going between plus or minus a half, and one number which is going through plus or minus three quarters. So if I choose the smallest number, that's what gets it all. So overall, it's between plus or minus a half. I hope that was useful. See you later.